It is estimated that Charles Blondin, the rope dancer as he was affectionately called, walked 10,000 miles and crossed Niagara Falls 300 times on his tightrope. One historical record boasts that Blondin had balanced his way to the middle of the rope with an oven and utensils, started a fire and cooked an omelet for passengers below on the Maid of the Mist tourist vessel. While we no longer marvel at the spectacle of physically balancing a tightrope across the Niagara, we do seem to be walking a tightrope ourselves. We live in a time when we truly want to have it all. Start a successful company, build a happy marriage and solid family, maintain our physical and mental health, possess a vibrant social life, and all the while be firmly grounded in our walk with God. But we're usually only left with a well of worries and the crushing pressure of perfectionism. Jesus sensed the same anxiety such a pursuit invites in his words to a multitude of eager listeners on a warm Galilean afternoon when he said, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life. For after all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. We dream of a work-life balance that seems to always elude us. But maybe our need is a correct perspective, perspective on what balance actually is. Balance is defined as maintaining two or more different elements in equal or the correct proportions. Those final two words shed light on why many of us fail at balance in life. Think about it. A balanced diet isn't equal proportions of every food group, but each food group in their correct proportions. This paradigm shift unlocks our dream of balance like a bird flying free from a cage. Jesus, sensing the questions arising in the hearts of the multitude, continued, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. The key to balance is perspective and priority. Let's be 100. Our situation regarding our health or relationships isn't usually not enough, but not at all. Our most treasured values receive no portion at all, as only one value consumes all portions. But this need not be so. Jesus teaches us, like he taught that unsuspecting multitude, that we can enjoy the most beautiful things in life by prioritizing them. You can enjoy date nights with your spouse because you prioritized your spouse. You can delight in a family night because you prioritized your family. You can relish in a healthy body and mind because you prioritized your health. You can sit in rapture of the love of God because you prioritized your time in prayer. Now is the time to dust off your dream of balance. This is the moment to move first things to first place. Now is the time to regain your balance.